<laughs> all right. I did send y'all an email of all the due dates, and basically they're the same due dates that we talked about. Um, today we're finishing up chapter nine. Your test for take home test is due this Sunday at midnight. Um, your homework is due Monday at midnight. And your final exam can be taken any day that's in blue, which is Sunday through Wednesday. Um, I am reviewing for the exam on Monday, and I also can review on the exam on Wednesday if y'all need me to. Mm -hmm. So I would not take the exam until after we review on Monday. And if you're still feeling shady, wait until we review on Wednesday. Okay. Um, so that email just talked about all of those due dates. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to finish going over Chapter 9 stuff. And remember I said you can go in and out of the test. I think maybe three or four of you have opened up the test. You can go in and out of the test as much as you want to. Just do not hit the Submit button. Alright, we have a little bit left to do in 9.2. Um, this one, I think we had a couple of these that say find the missing angle, find angle X. Now, there's three things that you need to know when doing these problems. You need to know, you need to know, and we talked about one of these, or two of these last time. You need to know that if you have two angles that are back to back that make a straight line. What do those two angles add up to be? If they make a straight line, they add up to be 180 degrees. Also, if you have two angles that are diagonally across from us, from each other, what do we know about those two angles? They're the same. They're the same. They're equal to each other. So if this one's 30 degrees, then we know this one's 30 degrees. Okay? Now, the only rule that we have not talked about is that if you have a triangle, the inside angles of the triangle all add up to 180 degrees. So the three angles on the inside of a triangle all add up to 180 degrees. So there's three rules that we're going to use. We're going to use the fact that these two angles add up to 180. So if this is 100 degrees, this one's going to be 80 degrees. We're going to use the fact that if they're diagonally across from each other, I call this like butterfly wings. Because if you draw butterfly wings, see how the butterfly wings are going to be the same? Yeah. And then the last one says that if you have a triangle, the three angles on the inside of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So those are my three rules that I'm going to use. Now, we're going to use those same three rules over and over and over again. And y'all, this is like a puzzle. Wherever X is, we're going to start away from X, and we're going to move towards X. And it's kind of like hopscotch. You're going to jump inside the triangle, so we're going to jump in the triangle to get to X. So we're going to start up here, and we're going to work our way to X. And the goal is to jump in the triangle to get to X. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start here. And my goal is to jump into the triangle. So to jump into the triangle, I'm going to jump there. So what do we know about that red angle? It's 37. It's 37, because do you see the butterfly wings? Yeah. Okay. If I draw the butterfly right there, do you see that that one's going to be 37 degrees? Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to take this other angle I was given. Let me draw it in a prettier color. This is still 9-2. This is 9-2, yes ma'am. I'm going to take this other angle I'm given, and I'm going to jump inside the triangle. Okay, what do I know about the green angle and the purple angle? Because it's different. It's Which of the, very good. Of these three rules, can you see that they make a straight line? See your straight line there? Mm -hmm. If 
if you turn your head to the side. So the 133 angle plus the purple angle make 180 degrees. So to get this angle, I'm going to do 180 minus 133. So I'm going to pull up my calculator and I'm going to do the 180 minus 133 is going to give me 47. So my purple angle is going to be 47. Okay. I'm sorry, I was on down there. Okay, the 133, which is the green angle, and the purple angle make a straight line. And the straight line is 180 degrees. And because a straight line is 180 degrees, that means the green angle and the purple angle have to add up to 180 degrees, which is a straight line. So I did 180 minus 133, which gave me the 47. Okay, now... Our next thing to do is to look inside the triangle. And I'm going to come over here just to make it a little clearer. We have a 47 here, and we have a 37 here. So now we can solve for this angle. What do we know about the purple, the red, and the green? The purple, the red, and the green add up to 180 because they're a triangle. They're inside the triangle. So 47 plus 37 plus X have to equal 180 degrees. So if I go to my calculator, I can do 47 plus 37 and then do 180 minus that answer. So 96 is going to be that angle at the bottom of the triangle. So will we, we find the X or the triangle? Well, we're trying to right now, and I used X and then I took it out because I don't want it to be X. I'm going to call that a question mark. So that means that this angle is going to be 96. But we don't want to know that angle. We want to know this angle. But what do we know about those two angles? What do we know about the 96 angle and the angle we're trying to find? They're equal because they're butterflies. So my answer is going to be 96 degrees. So I use the 37 to jump in the triangle. I use the 133 to jump in the triangle. Then I use the triangle rule to find him and then I jump out of the triangle. Yes? Well, what was the point of using, um, adding 47 37 yeah. you use, I didn't see what you used. Okay, I added, I know that these three, yeah, and I didn't know, I didn't know what this one was. Mm -hmm. So I know that these three have to add up to 180. Okay. So I and added up the 47 and the 37, okay. and then I subtracted it from the 180. And that gave me the 96. You good? You just had a moment. It's a lot going on. So I used the butterfly rule to get me here. I used the straight line rule to get me here. I used the triangle rule to get me down here. And then I used the butterfly rule again to get me out here. So my final, final, final answer is 96. All right, let's look at one more. We actually have two more, but let's try this one. Okay, we are going towards X. So that means we need to jump in the triangle to get to X. So ultimately, we want to end up inside this triangle. Well, good news, the 35 is already in the triangle. So we need to get this 30 in the triangle. So can I just put the 30 in the triangle? Yes, because that's the butterfly rule. So do you see that that 30 can go in the triangle? Yeah. We good so far? Mm -hmm. So now if I bring that triangle down, just to make it a little bit clearer, I have 35 here and I have 30 here. So how
how am I going to get this angle? That be 90. So it's going to be, how, what do they add up to be? 180 minus the 35 minus the 30. Or add them up and take them away from 180. So if I come over here and I do the 180 minus 30 minus 35, or add them up and take them away from 180, then my missing angle at the top of the triangle is going to be 115. So my green angle is going to be 115. Is that the angle that I want? No. No. I want the angle over here. So the 115 and the angle that I want make what kind of line? A straight line. So how many degrees are in a straight line? So to get this one, I'm going to do 180 minus 115. So my answer is going to be 65. Some people are really good at this and some people struggle. I'm going to give you one to try on your <coughs> own. You're talking to us strugglers. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Do you need me? I want to see how many of these you can do. It's co actually <laughs> combining what we did today with what we did last time. The moving down the railroad. I want to see how many of these you can do on your own. You have 12 angles to find. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Mm -hmm. Just see how many you can do on your own. I will bail you out. Carla, cut your speaker off. I can hear you. I know. So we have the railroad tracks, and then we have a road crossing the railroad tracks. We've got a triangle in there. We've got all kinds of mess going on. And the only two angles we were given is the 40 degree angle and the 50 degree angle. Right, Rhonda is here. No Rachel Hemingway. And Rhonda is here. No, no Rachel McCutcheon. I said the wrong one, but I wrote the right one. My bad. Raquel is here, but Rachel is not here. My bad. Sharonda is here. So in Florence, we're only missing Rachel McCutcheon. Hartsville has everybody. Lake City has everybody. And Mullins is missing everybody except for Carla. This is nine one that we're nine two. We started nine two last time, and this is towards the end of nine two. After we get past this problem, it's downhill. It's easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. Yep, this is nine two. Yeah, this is like one of the hardest problems, and then we'll get easy breezy. How many of these are on the final, the final exam? Um, we'll, look, we'll probably have time today to look at, at the end. But all day Monday and probably some of Wednesday, I'll spend going over what's on the final. Next week is our last week. Mm -hmm. We have two more classes after today. And then is the week after the final. Next week, week is it. Your yeah. semester is over. Okay, well, when do we do finals? Your, your final opens up this Sunday and closes on Wednesday. So you take it whenever you want to take it, just like a regular test. Um, even though your final opens this Sunday, 
I don't review for the final until Monday, and I also will review Wednesday if you need it. So we can take it Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Yep. Wednesday at close? Um, Wednesday at hub closing or site closing. Okay. So um, some of y'all will get the review Monday and say, I'm ready to take it and get it over with. And some of you may come back Wednesday. Wednesday's going to be an optional day. If you, if you don't need me, fine. If you need me, fine. And you don't need to solve these in any particular order. You can solve them any way you want to. Remember, your 8 and 9 take-home test is multiple choice, and your final exam is multiple choice. Mm -hmm. Oh, so we don't have to say I mean all oh, Which means you're not going to do one like this. <laughs> I may give you one like this and say find angle 4, yeah. but I'm not going to give you one where you've got to name everything. I'm as lost as a turkey with this bracket. Okay. I'm going to tell you. Give me an angle that you want me to find. It's a hard one, dude. Okay. Okay. Look at this. 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 this. one is 40, six. Six. Do you see is going to be 40 as well? Yeah. yeah. So 6 is going to be 40, and I'm going to say because of the butterfly rule. Are we good? I got to take up the fact So the butterfly rule is when they connect. When, when they, they make like a V, it's the same. They're like, so if I took, like if this was my piece of paper and I folded on that piece of paper, do you see that angle 40 and angle 6 would be on top of each other like a mirror? Yeah. Okay? So that's what I call the butterfly rule. They would be on top of each other. Are we good? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, eventually, do you see that 2 and 5 are going to be the same? And 1 and 7 are going to be the same. But right now, I don't know what they are. So I'm going to leave that for just a second. Okay. Tell me about angle 4. It's the same. Angle 4, do you see as a butterfly for angle 5? Yeah, it's the same. So angle 4 is going to be 50 degrees. And it's a butterfly for angle 50. Are we good? Mm -hmm. Now, if I draw a line right here. That's a straight line. That's that straight line. Straight so we line. know that these two have to add up to 180 degrees. Yay. So you subtract them 180. So angle 8 plus the 50 degree have to make 180, which is a straight line. Yeah. Did I hit 38? Does it say record at the top? Okay. So angle 8 is going to be how many degrees? 130. 130. And then we know that angle 3 is going to be the same thing. Because angle 3 and angle 8 are butterflies. Yay? Mm -hmm. So angle 3 is going to be 130 degrees. Cool? Mm -hmm. Have I lost anybody yet? No. Let me come up here for just a second. If I draw that line, and here's angle 50, and here's angle 8. Can you see that angle 50 and angle 8 make a straight line? So that's why we subtracted and got the 180, or 130. And then we notice that angle 8 and angle 3 are diagonally across from each other, which made them the same. They're that vertical angle. So, good news is we've done that whole little intersection. 
we know that this is 130 and this is 130 and this one is 50. We've done that whole intersection. Now, if I take this intersection and I slide it down the road, Let me take that intersection, let me clone that intersection. Take that intersection and slide it down the road. Oh, because two would be 50. So angle two and angle four are exactly the same thing. You see that? Let me get another color. Right. Angle two and angle four are going to be the same thing. And angle 5 and angle 50 are going to be the same thing. So let me go fill those in. So angle 2 is what? 50. 50 degrees. Angle 5 is 50. is 50 degrees. Now, angle 3 was 130 degrees, right? Do you see that angle three is angle that and that added together? Yeah. So if this was 130 degrees, that means both of these together are 130 degrees. And if this is 40, this has to be the rest. So if this is 40, this is going to be 90 because 90 plus 40 is 130. You with me? Yeah. yeah. So angle 1 is going to be 90 degrees. Well, if angle 1 is 90 degrees, what is angle 7? 90. 90 degrees. Now, Let's come, let me go to my little highlighter, now let me go to a creative pen, let me bring him up the road. So, so if I bring 10 up the road, 10, should be 40. 10 is going to be 40, which makes 12 is 40. Is 40. So what is 11 going to be? 90. What is 11 going to be? No. Number 11 is going to be which angles added uh, together? Oh, 7. 7 and? 9. Nine. Okay, 11 and nine. is 2, two and is 7, seven together. And it come out to be 90. 7 be 90. And 2 is 50. Yeah. So, yep. be 90. so if I take, let me make that a little bit smaller if I can. Um, yep. <coughs> so if I take this and I move it up the road a little okay. bit. Okay. So number 10 is going to be num is 40. Yeah. Number 12 is going to be number 6, which is 40. Number 11 is going to be 2 and 7. So 2 was 50 and 7 was 90, which is going to be 140. And 11 is the same thing as 9, which is 140. That was a doozy, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. oh, I'm trying to find one on here like that. Where I can do the demonstration of it. Yeah. And I get so mad because what am I going to use it for? Life. Life. Everyday life. What I use, use it every day. But what would we use that for? Seriously. <laughs> to get out of this class. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you work hard for this. I know. Okay. This is probably one of the hardest ones in this chapter. That's 9-2 polygon? This is 9-2, and it's called um, Determine the Measures of Angles 1 through 12. And if you're in your homework, like if we look at our homework, and we go to 
It's light number 33. So let me see if there's, let me see if this is it. Yep. Yeah. It's homework problem um, number 9, 9.2 number 9. I'm going to go home and go on that problem and go to help me solve. That's what I have to do, go to help me solve. Hold on, and I'll, let's do this one. Because, like I said, this is going to be one of the hardest ones. Let's work this one together because yours is going to be different. Let's, um, just to give y'all practice, let me do camera. Let me do. You said nine. Number nine. Let's just do this one to give us one more to practice because hopefully the rest of the homework will go pretty fast. This is 9.2 number 9. 9.2 MML homework number 9. It may be different numbers but it's going to be very similar to what you have. And again, it wants us to do angle 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And like I said, your numbers may be different, but it's probably going to be a very similar problem. So tell me where you want me to start. Look at the ones that are vertical. Very good. If you have 61 here, then you know that 9 is going to be 61. Because 5 should be 62 because it's 62. Not? No. 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 Four. No. Do this. Oh, is this a four and five? Two. Oh, two. Two. So if this is 62. And two is 62. Two is going to be 62. Those are going to be my easiest. We're good so far. Now, 6 and 10, we can finish up. Okay, look right there. Because that should be 180. Good. This one makes a straight line. This one makes a straight line. So it's going to be 180 minus 61. So that's going to be 119 here which means this one's going to be 119. And that one is 61. So 6 is going to be 119 and 10 is going to be 119. Because you feel that number 1 is the same. Four, five, it's the same one, one. It was 118? No, 4, 4, 5. Okay, so now that we've done a, a intersection, we can try to get our slide on. So let's slide. Let's try sliding it up the road and see if anything matches. So if I slide that up the road, do you see that things start matching? Yeah, because one and three should be one that T. Oops, hold on. Undo. Let me clone. So if I slide that up the road, what is three going to be? 61. Three is going to be 61. So angle three is going to be 61, which means that angle four, angle four is going to be 61. Now, angles one and two equal up to 119. But, so we don't know what's what. But, these two equal up to what? 62. Um, 62 and angle 5 equal up to what? 119. 119. So 1 is 62. So to get angle 5, I'm going to do 119 minus the 62. You ready? 
You with me? Yeah. The 119 is the whole thing, and the 62 we were already given. So what is um, angle 5? 57. 57? Okay, so if this one is 57, what do we know about angle 1? 57. Also. That one's 57 because they match. Yay? Yeah. So now.